Mr. Mellon and his first wife, Mary, lived in this house before her death in 1946. By 1955, Mr. Mellon and his second wife, Bunny, had settled in a new house on the estate, and the brick house was converted into a library and art gallery. The interior contains British sporting art, including paintings, drawings, and sculptures. Over the past 45 years, Mr. Mellon and Bunny have collected several thousand paintings and many thousands of prints, watercolors, and drawings. They began seriously collecting French pictures in the late 1940s. By 1960, Paul Mellon had become interested in collecting English paintings as well. We asked him why he began collecting on a serious basis. Well, I suppose I didn't really think of collecting um, seriously until we had until we had this house and a big house and a lot of bare walls and uh, in the meantime I had collected in a very small way some few sporting pictures <clears throat> but um, we needed more for this house and that's when I really began collecting particularly horse pictures uh, a lot of my life was spent uh, with uh, Chester Dale in the National Gallery, and I got to know his collection very well. And uh, in a way, uh, he, I think, influenced me in, as far as French pictures were concerned. But it was, I would say it was, it was more uh, Bunny's enthusiasm and interest. 